Wouldn't it be great if there's a database of proven tactics and strategies tailored to your business that you can just take and apply to your Facebook ad campaigns? Well, the great news is that there is. Facebook have cataloged and organized a ton of case studies and success stories here. These are all real businesses getting real results with Facebook ads, and you can access these anytime. You just need to go to facebook.com forward slash business forward slash success. And the great thing is, is that you can break these down by business size, the goal that you want to achieve, the industry that you're in, the product that you want to test out on Facebook, and even the region that you are from. So what I've done is really picked out four case studies and I'm going to walk you through them step by step, analyze them, break them down. And these are four completely different types of businesses. So we've got a local uh, retail business with a physical location, we've got an app business, we've got a solopreneur online consultant, and we have got an e-commerce business. So we're going to go through each of these one by one, looking at their objectives, their targeting, the ad format that they used, and of course, the results as well. I'll also show you one cool trick for how you can analyze any ad that pops up in your Facebook newsfeed and how to create your own personal database of these eye-catching ads so you can use them to inspire your own campaigns. So be sure to stick around to the end for that. So let's kick it all off and have a look at case study number one, and it's for the Avoca Clinic. And as you can probably guess from the image here, this is a case study for a local business that has a physical location. And what I'm gonna do is walk you through this case study, pick out the important points and the keys to success that you need to focus on, and give my little insights along the way as well. So the perfect place to start, and really where you should start any analysis or where you should start thinking about your own campaigns, is really understanding the goal. So the goal for the Avoca Clinic here was to generate interest. They wanted to engage potential clients, and more specifically, they wanted to attract inquiries from people interested in the clinic's services. So notice here that they're not trying to get the sale directly from the Facebook ad, they're just trying to generate leads. So now that we understand that their objective is to generate leads, Let's have a closer look at what they actually offer. So the Avoca Clinic is a business in Ireland, and this is a perfect case study to start with because I'm from Ireland as well. And they offer surgical and non-surgical cosmetic procedures. So probably things like breast augmentation, uh, laser surgery, uh, Botox, that type of stuff. So we understand their objective is to generate leads. We have a better understanding of the business. Let's take a closer look at their targeting, how they targeted their ads. And this is really key to their success to get click throughs, to get conversions and to really reduce waste as well. So there isn't a lot of information about targeting here, but if we move down, we can see products used, core targeting. And I've opened this up here and core targeting to remind you is really using targeting options like location, demographics, interests, behaviors, and connections. And my guess here is that the Avoca Clinic probably targeted their ads by a certain location. So a radius maybe around the clinic of people who could easily reach the clinic so they could come in for the actual services and also by demographics. So my guess is that their services primarily appeal to women and definitely women of a certain age category as well who are legally able to do these type of surgeries. So now that we understand the targeting a little bit better and what are the targeting options that they used, let's have a look at their budget. It's another key to success. And you can see that they started out with a small advertising spend of just 50 euros. So this is the right way to do it. They started small and they really built up from there. And actually, if you see that they started with 50 euros, but they have now 10x their Facebook investment. So they're probably looking at 500. I'm not sure if that's 500 a month, but you can see that they tested something, it worked, then they scaled it. And that's the, that's the right way to do it with the budgets as well. And the next key to success is really the ad creative. And we can actually see the ads that they used here, which is pretty cool. We can see that there are two ads that they used here, two types of different copy, and I think you'll agree that these are very visual. They're very eye-catching. There is a great image here, kind of black background, a white clothes, and they're definitely relevant because this is a woman here. They're probably trying to attract the attention of a woman. She's looking good. She's in her gym gear. 
If we look over here is again, all pictures of women as well. And so they're really appealing to the person uh, that they're trying to attract. They're looking fit and uh, they're really showing the success story as well. This is what people want to look like who probably want their services. So we know it's visually appealing, we know it's relevant. Let's have a look at the offer here. So want to learn more about uh, our treatments by our award-winning team. Just click get quote and we'll be delighted to answer your questions. So the offer here is, look, we'll answer your questions. You, we'll call you back free of charge. And so that's a pretty good offer. I mean, there's no risk there. Just click through and uh, we'll call you back. Now, the final point to note is that the Avoca Clinic use a certain type of ad format. It's called a lead ad. And then although you can't see any real difference here, the difference is after you click through here on the get quote button. A lead ad, when you use this, brings the person to a landing page within Facebook. It's an inquiry form where their details are already pre-filled by the, the information that they've submitted to Facebook. So that solves two big problems for advertisers. One, that the person doesn't have to fill in their details because Facebook has already pre-filled it. Pr probably more importantly, they don't need to leave Facebook in order to give you their information. They don't need to go off to a website they maybe don't trust or wait for it to load up in order to give your information. It just makes it really seamless and it's probably a key reason that this ad was so effective. So let's wrap it all up and bring it to together here. Even if you have absolutely no intention of setting up a surgical or non-surgical cosmetic clinic where you're not in that, you're that business at all, there are some key takeaways from this case study. One is that they got really clear on their goal and really everything led from there. Their goal was to generate leads, not get the sale. That's probably perfectly suited to the type of business they're in because it's gonna be very hard to close 4,500 euro sale from a Facebook ad. So they did the right thing to just focus on generating leads. They, they created their ad to really promote that, get a quote, and they use this lead ad format in order to really generate those leads quickly. They use images that are visually appealing and relevant to the audience that have a good offer and they used core targeting, location, demographics to really get that in front of the right audience. So you can see that everything kind of has to fit together and work together in order to create these successful campaigns. And you can see the results here that they really got a 90% lower cost per lead than any other channel. They got a ton of leads coming from Facebook. And as we said, they 10x their investment after this. So that wraps up case to number, case to number one. Let's have a look now at case study number two. So let's have a look at case study number two now, and this is for an app business. And we're gonna move through this case study and the remaining ones a lot quicker. So let's get straight into it. Their objective with this campaign was really to get new app users. So they want to increase app installs. Let's have a look at what this app actually does. It lets customers manage multiple bank accounts and budgets from a single interface. So really helping people with personal finance and I think that's great because a lot of people really struggle with that and need help with that. So the app is really solving a good problem there. Let's look at how they targeted their ads. And you can see here that they used lookalike audiences. And if you remember, they, this is really reaching people who are, already, who are similar to your customers or contacts. So people are already using the app, people are visiting your website, people are already on your email list or connected to your Facebook page. So a good strategy to really increase app installs. So we understand the targeting now using lookalike audiences. Let's have a look at the ad creative here to see if they tick the boxes. Well, it's definitely visually appealing. There's a nice picture here and it's relevant because we've got a girl here looking at her phone. She's outside having a coffee. Life looks easy. And so this is a good uh, success picture to really paint. And she's looking at her phone as well. So it gives us that clue that this is something related to your phone. There's a good offer here as well. If you could predict your budget and never be found short at the end of the month, I think that's translated from French, French, but I get the idea. You know, it's gonna help you not be short at the end of the month. Nobody likes that problem. And this app's gonna help you do that. Very clear call to action at the end again here, install now. So ticking a lot of boxes there for a successful ad creative. Now let's have a look at the ad format as well. They used a mobile app install ad and if we look at this when you click on this install now button what this does is link directly to the app 
uh, Store, Google Play and Kindle Fire. So depending on your device, it'll send you to the right place to download it so that people can download it straight away. And again, it's just making it seamless, taking out those unnecessary steps, and that really helps advertisers. So again, the key takeaways here are very clear on their goal. They set up an ad that was really tailored to that, and uh, they even tapped into lookalike audiences, mobile app installs, and video ads to bring that all together and really make that work. And let's have a look at some of the results. 40% increase in app installations, and 52% of active users generated by Facebook traffic. So not only did people download the app, but they also became users of the app as well, which is very important ultimately for the business as well. So that wraps up uh, case study number two. Let's have a look now at case study number three. Now this case study is pretty interesting because it shows how a woman, not a big company, is using Facebook ads to grow her business. Her name is Mirka. She's from the Czech Republic and she's into something pretty obscure, which is astrology. What she actually does is offer and prepare personalized horoscopes. So I don't think you could get any more niche or obscure than this. And really the point of including this case study is to show you that, look, you don't have to be a company to take advantage of Facebook ads and you don't even need to be into something that is a huge industry. I don't think you could get any more obscure than preparing personalized um, astrology reports and I think it's fantastic the way she's taking advantage uh, of Facebook ads in order to grow her business. So let's have a look at how she targeted people for her ads and really find people who are interested in getting personalized horoscopes. So what she did was use custom audiences from her website. So probably retargeting people who had visited her website but not taken that step to actually purchase the personalized report. She also used that custom audience to create a lookalike audience so that she is really targeting people not only who visited her website, but people who are like those people and using that audience to really drive sales. So let's have a look at her ad creative here and look at see if it really ticks the boxes. So we can't really read the text here because it's in a check, um, but you can see that the images are definitely catching attention and I'm sure that you've got the word for the horoscope here. You've got some questions that are probably pulling you in and you've got the, the call to action to really learn more. So it's not a hard drive to, to get the sale, but I'm sure it's leading them towards this page here on our website where there is the opportunity to go ahead and buy the reports at a pretty reasonable price of 23 euros. So summing up this uh, case study, we can see that uh, it's pretty, you know, an obscure business. She's probably working from home and she's making a big success of it. She's getting a 3x return on her ad investment. So that means she's putting in a euro, she's getting three euros back. And that is a fantastic place to be in because her business will never uh, kind of stop making revenue. She's a predictable way to make revenue, spend one euro on Facebook ads, get three euros back. Who doesn't want that? Uh, I definitely take that any day of the week. So that wraps up case study number three, solopreneur, person working from home. Let us now look at the final case study for the Aram Brothers, which is an e-commerce business. And this case study is particularly good for understanding how to use retargeting uh, for an e-commerce store or retargeting in general. So we can see that their objective was to raise their awareness, but also to increase sales as well. And if we come a little bit further down here that we can see that their objectives were to get clicks to websites and to really get website conversions as well. So some of the targeting that they did, and this is probably the most interesting part of this case study here, is that they split up their ads into three different groups and had really three separate objectives. One is target people who had added an item to their basket. So probably reminding people to come and finish out the process and really going straight for that low hanging fruit, getting people who'd almost purchased but not quite finished through. Next, a level down, really targeting people who viewed specific items but never made it to the checkout process. And then finally, people who had visited the Aaron Brother website. So you can see that how they prioritize, prioritize these groups, they're starting with the people who were closest to making a purchase, then targeting people who are the one step back from that, and then again, targeting people who are one step back from that again. And they use photo and video ads that clearly show the product popped in the newsfeed. We don't have the examples here yet. 
Um, but really the objectives were get people to the websites and get people to convert and finish out those purchases as well. Now looking up at some of the results here, they got a 13x increase on their return on their ad spend. So put in a euro, you get out 13 euros or dollars back. And uh, this is the amazing thing here, 50% of their revenue directly uh, generated by Facebook ads in 2016. So they have built their business on the back of Facebook ads and that just shows and I think is a great metric to finish up these case studies on to really show how powerful that is if you really apply the strategies and get them right. And I think particularly shows how powerful that retargeting is as well to really go for that low hanging fruit and pick up those warm leads as well as constantly be trying to get people to the website and do some brand awareness stuff. Those case studies are really helpful, but there's one thing that you can do on a daily basis that's gonna make you a much, much better Facebook advertiser, and that is to analyze the ads that pop up in your own newsfeed. You're gonna know it's an ad because it says sponsored here. And here's one really cool trick that you can use. You see the little drop down here? Just click on that, and you can click on this button, why am I seeing this ad? And this is gonna help you understand the targeting that the advertiser has set up for this campaign. So I can see here that LinkedIn wants to reach people who have visited their website or one of their apps. And more specifically, they want to reach people who are ages 18 and older who live or were recently in Ireland. So I know that they are using a custom audience and also using uh, those targeting features based on demographics and location. So that's a cool little trick that you can just do to understand why you're seeing the ads in your newsfeed. And also if you like these ads, I like this ad, it, you can see that it's got a cool learn more button on the image and that does make me want to click that and if I wanted to replicate that in my campaigns and make sure I remembered it, what I can do is actually click here down in the drop down again and click save link and what I'm going to be doing is really saving all of these ads, creating my own personal database of ads that have inspired me that have caught my attention and that's going to help me create much better ads now if you want to save all these save or find all these saved ads just come across to saved here and you can see a list of all of the ads you can click down to saved from and you can see the original post here it won't appear like an ad but you can see and access it again so it can help inform your own campaigns so to recap then, in this lecture, we looked at four case studies from four completely different types of businesses. You can see that all of them are using Facebook ads effectively to grow their business. They're using different strategies. And I hope that this showed you the tailored tactics and strategies that you can use for yourself. Of course, anytime you can come in to facebook.com forward slash business forward slash success, check these case studies out for yourself, start to analyze them in the way that we've done in this lecture that you've learned to do. And also you've learned how to create your own database of ads that you can really use to inspire your own campaigns. So I hope you found that helpful and I'll see you in the next lecture.